Okay, here we are again, the old principle, and we're studying just a little bit of English. You only have a half an hour, so tune up your ears, because here we go. This is number 104, a salvaged sculpture. A salvaged sculpture. Okay, now we'll look at that. Salvaged means that something went, went wrong and then they redid the, redid it and made it so it was useful and became very famous, by the way, very famous. So with that, we move on and here we go with a story. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yes. Go for it. A huge block of Carrara marble stood in the courtyard of the cathedral in Florence, Italy. It was 18 feet tall and weighed 9 tons. A sculptor tapped away with hammer and chisel, attempting to carve the patron saint of Florence. It wasn't going well. In frustration, the sculptor threw his hammer at the stone to his horror, the hammer broke a large piece from the valuable marble. He stood frozen for one awful moment. Then he checked his sketches and measured the block from many angles. He climbed up and down the ladders, hoping that he could still carve his sculpture. He could not. His shoulders sagged as he gathered his tools and walked away. The giant block of marble remained behind, a monument to unbridled temper. The immense block stood in the courtyard of the cathedral for almost a hundred years. Many thought it was beyond repair. Then, in 1505, Michelangelo was asked if he could do anything with the giant. He measured the block carefully noting its imperfections. As he gazed at it day after day, an image began to emerge in his mind. He saw the form of a young shepherd boy from Bible times. He sketched the biblical character as he envisioned him, and David began to take shape. For three years, the master sculptor worked steadily following the lines that he had drawn on the marble. Day after day, his hammer and chisel skillfully shaped that stone. One day, when he felt he'd finished, he looked up at the towering figure. His fatigue from the long day and the size of the gargantuan statue left him confused for a moment. David seemed almost alive. Michelangelo tapped him on his knee with his hammer, shouting, Speak! The only sound he heard was the clink of a small piece of marble glancing off the base of the statue. Michelangelo's hammer had knocked out a chip from David's knee. Well, that was better than, than the first uh, sculpture. Absolutely. Um, but even then, mm, yes, probably not the best. No. Okay, thank you so much. Now, today we've got a lot of new words, but I think you're going to enjoy this because this is real and this is the real story. I think I, I went and I went looking at the story. I wanted to read the story uh, over several times. So. Here we go. Here's a huge block of Carrara marble. Okay, okay. Dali sure is marble. Okay, so we got marble. But Carrara is, you know, <clears throat> I discovered that marble, there are different kinds of marble. And uh, apparently, Carrara marble is a very nice. Uh, type of marble, okay? So, a huge block, 一大块, okay? 
uh, stood in the courtyard, courtyard Yuanzi, of the cathedral. Okay, a cathedral is Da Jiao Tang, especially in Ozhou. They have these huge, huge uh, Jiao Tang, uh, Jiao Cathedral. Uh, in Florence, Italy. Now, this is Europe, Italy, and then Florence, whatever you say in Chinese, but Florence, Italy. So, this is in Italy, Josezai, Italy. Going on, it was 18 feet tall, okay? So, this is not a little piece of marble, 18 feet tall. Let me see, I'm six feet. So it'd be three times taller than me. So you just stack me, one, two, three, and then you would have 18 feet because I'm six feet tall, okay? It was 18 feet tall and weighed, uh, gong dun, okay? Nine tons, that's pretty heavy. Okay, well, it seems to me like it would weigh more. Hmm. Well, anyway, it's pretty heavy. And the sculptor, okay? So in this case, uh, the sculptor is Diao Su. What, Jiang? Okay, hey, I've got to look at my cheat sheet because these are new words to me, too. Okay, okay, Diao Su, Jiang is a person who makes a sculpture, okay? Diao Su Ping is a sculpture, okay? So the sculptor, sounds almost the same, doesn't it? Sculptor tapped away, tapped away, okay? Boom, 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 tapped away with his uh, hammer, it's like a futo, okay? And chisel, what is a chisel? Okay, zazu. Okay, so you, what do you got? Is what well, really probably you have a hammer, tietre or futo, and you have a chisel. So you're going boom, 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 boom. Okay, so you like my chisel? Most of the time I call it a pencil, but now it's a chisel. Okay, so any rate, so here he is. He's tapping away. Why is he tapping? Tapping means ching ching da da, ching ching da da. Okay, he doesn't. You don't want to go crash like that. You might break the whole thing. Okay, ching ching da da, hammer and chisel, attempting, and that means he is trying to do something to carve diao ke, the patron saint of Florence. Patron saint of Florence. What's that? Okay. A saint is a uh, sengtu, okay? And Florence is the city, okay? And patron saint, actually, this, these cities adopted Shoyang. Can you say that? Okay, a uh, sengtu. So the patron saint of Florence, uh, well, I don't know who it was, because as we will see in this story, the plan changed, okay? So, at any rate, he was going to be making a 18 foot tall, very tall, uh, carving, okay? Or sculpture, okay? It wasn't going well, okay? And that means that, eh, eh, it wasn't going well. If my life is not going well, I say, my life isn't going well, or today didn't go well, okay? So, it wasn't going well. In frustration, okay, now, frustration, he got mad, okay? The sculptor, okay, the person who is Diao uh, Su Jiang, Jiang, okay, sculpture. So the sculpture is both the thing that he's making and the person himself. The Diao Su uh, Jiang 
threw his hammer, chum, threw his hammer at the stone. Okay, is he a happy person? No. He threw his hammer at Tada Tietre to jump. Wrong go. Going on. To his horror. A kongju. Okay. Horror. Okay. The hammer hit the marble. Okay. And broke a large piece from the valuable marble. Okay. And it broke yi da kuai. Yi da kuai from the valuable han zhi qian da li zhi. Okay? So, what do you have? The man threw his, it broke a big piece, it fell to the ground. Okay? He stood, next, he stood frozen for one awful moment. What, what does that mean? To stand frozen. Uh, we say, dong jie. Okay, he just, dong de. Dong. Okay? For one ke pa, or moment, fearful moment. Then he checked his sketches. Okay, you know what a sketch is? Uh, it is, uh, the drawings that he he drew some drawings he had some pictures and he checked his sketches and he measured the block so he takes his measurements and he measured the block and he measured the liang jiga di fang liang jiga di fang from many putong de jiao du putong de jiao du going on he climbed up and down ladders to sang jiga ti zi you xia you sang you xia hoping he could still carve his sculpture why ta de wei de xi wang okay hoping that he hai ke yi jiga diao su jiga diao ke okay his sculpture, but he could not. Nebanma. Nebanma. Going on. His shoulders sag. Do I look like I have sagging shoulders? When they, when your shoulders to xiao lai. No, normally shoulders are up like this. But when your shoulders are sagging, what does that mean? That means that you're very sad, very discouraged, han hui xin. He gathered his tools, okay, to go shou qi lai, okay, his tools, you know, his hammers and uh, chisels and all this, and walked away. Kai. I don't even know who he is. I'm sure if you look at the history, you'll probably find out who he was. The giant block of marble, take a da kuai, da li shi, remained behind. Liu zai, take a yuan zi li, take a Da Jiao Tang de Yuan Zili, a monument to unbridled temper. Okay, a monument. A monument is usually something that uh, we put up to remember something. It's made out of stone usually. Sometimes it's made out of metal. Okay, but Ji Nian Shema, what is it a reminder of? Un Bridled temper. Mayo Kongju Hao the Pi Chi. Okay. Do you know um how can we do say this? When you're riding a horse, have you ever ridden on a horse? Hmm. 
Maybe you haven't ridden on a horse. On a horse, they have a bridle. A bridle is something um, like cords or rope, and the bridle helps the rider steer the horse. Okay? That's a bridle. Unbridled means uncontrolled. Uncontrolled pichi. Going on? The immense block, stood in the courtyard of the cathedral for almost 100 years. Nobody knew what to do with it. Many thought it was beyond repair. Okay. Uh, so it just sat there. Now, it's surprising. It must have been a valuable piece of marble because uh, most people would have said, hey, well, they just take it out, throw it away. But it sat there, unfinished for 100 years. Going on. Then in 1505, Michelangelo, oh boy, here we go. Michelangelo. This is the only time I'm going to read his name in Chinese because it's too long for me to remember. Okay, Michelangelo is a very famous uh, Diao Su Jiang. Okay, Diao Su Jiang. Okay, very famous. So here's his name. Listen carefully because I'm not going to read it a second time. Okay, Mi Kai. Okay, Mi Kai Liang Ji. Law. Whoo! Such a big long name. Michelangelo was asked if he could do anything with the, the giant. The giant. Okay? The Juren. Okay? But the Juren was an unfinished giant, right? He measured the block carefully. Okay? Zui. Noting. It's imperfections. Okay, noting it's imperfections. Xia zi. Okay, so xia zi is imperfections, the bad places. Uh, xia zi. Going on. As he gazed at it day after day, gazed. To gaze at something means. Kan. Okay? Gazed. Looking at something. Looking at it. Looking at it. Day after day. And he just sat there and he looked at it. An image began to form in his mind. Okay? An image. An image. Okay. Began to emerge. Maybe to start with, it was Mohu Buching. It was not clear. Not clear. But then, slowly but surely, he began to see an image. Okay. He saw the form of a young shepherd boy, Nanqing the shepherd boy, Mu Yang Tong, uh, Mu Yang Tong, okay, from Bible times, okay. Everything in those days was referenced to the Bible. So, and they were quite religious during that time. So, uh, they were quite religious. A shepherd boy, a boy who was watching sheep. Okay, he sketched the biblical character he envisioned. Tasso kan de yi xiang, the envisioned, yi xiang, okay. 
he sketched, okay, the character. That's a person. Okay? Now, sometimes character is pinga, but in this case, it's a person. So, okay, and David, Da Wei, a very famous, well, he became a very famous king. Da Wei began to take shape. Man Man, Jo Kai Shi Chu Lai. Okay, going on. Three years, the master sculptor worked steadily following the lines he had drawn on the marble. Okay, so what do you do? So you, you draw lines on the mar marble, and you draw, and then you take your, your, your hammer and you chisel. Oh, oh yeah, I gotta have my chisel. Okay, and so you, boom, 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 boom. Tapping, not too hard, right? Not too hard, boom, boom, boom. And so he followed the lines. Oh, go ahead, for three years. Took him three years, going on. Day after day, his hammer and his chisel, Okay, take a tea tray. Hayo take a, what is it? Zaozu. Okay, and you're hammering, hammering, hammering. Skillfully shaped the stone, and it's starting to take shape. Go ahead. One day, when he felt he had finished, okay, so now he's finished. Three years has passed. One day, when he had finished, he looked up at the towering figure. Towering means very, very tall person. Figure is another way of saying person. So he's looking up at this towering figure. And he's looking at him. Go ahead. His fatigue from the long day, fatigue, okay, fatigue, pi jun, pi jun, from the long day, yi, uh, fei zhang chang de yi tian, so he'd been working, 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 and the size of the gargantuan, whoa, we don't usually use gargantuan, Gargantuan means very, very, very big. Big, 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 big. Very big. Statue, okay. Okay, a statue. This figure, this statue, uh, left him confused. Just for a moment, go ahead. David seemed almost alive. And he's looking there. And David almost going on. Michelangelo tapped him on the knee. Now, a little bit better than the other sculptor, Michelangelo tapped him. Ching ching de. Tapped him on his shigai with his hammer. Chuk chuk. Shouting. Speak, speak. Okay, going on. The only sound he heard, was clink, clink. Okay, what's that? It's the sound of a little tiny piece of marble. Okay, 小小的一块,这个大理石, Glancing off, fan se, the base of the statue. So a little piece of marble fell down, chung, and then, then bounced off. Go ahead. Michelangelo's hammer had knocked out a chip. A chip is just like a xiao kuai, yi pian zi, okay? Xiao kuai, from David's Knee. Okay? So you should be able to 
see that today. If you go to Florence, Italy, you can go there and you can look at David's knee and you should see a little piece of hole or just a little imperfection as a little piece of marble kind of fell off. Okay, Mrs. Ash, it's your turn to join us. Now, have you ever tried carving? No. But you're an artist. Yes. But not that kind of artist. No. Okay. She, she likes art. But what kind of art do you do? Uh, keyboard. Keyboard. So a tangang jing uh -huh. Okay. Now, on the keyboard, you can't break the, you can't break the piano. But wait, I'll pull it because gong ching, huh? But were there some days when you felt like, <laughs> like that? Yes. There it was. Mm -hmm. Especially when I was growing up. Especially when you were growing up and your mother said, go practice the piano. And things weren't going so good. And things weren't going. It was a hard, some hard music. Uh -huh. Is that why your hair turned white? <laughs> well, it was a little early then. No, it was too early <laughs> then. Okay. Well, uh, again, as we have seen in some of our other stories, here we have the story of two sculpt sculptures. One of them was unbridled, what shall we say, temper. And he threw his hammer there and he broke a big piece. And then Michelangelo, a little confused, tapped him on the knee, ching ching da da, and still caused some problems. You know, he's, Michelangelo said, speak. And so he did, silently, by saying, be careful. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> so, so David is speaking to Michelangelo, be careful. That, oh, ouch, that well, hurts my David knee. That's David saying that. Yeah, David, oh, my, yeah, knee David. Is, my knee is hurt. <laughs> Okay, hey, we better go uh, check us out here, our website and our email address. Hope you enjoyed spending time with us, and we'd be happy for you to join us again next time. Bye.